experience digestive issues from time to time. On some days, you might experience heartburn or constipation or bloating or even diarrhea. But it is okay if it is happening occasionally. But what if it's a frequent affair? That is where it disrupts your life. But fortunately, if you look after your diet and nutrition, you can bring your digestive tract back to normal. And that is why in today's episode, we will be talking about the 7 major tips that you need to keep in mind for your gut health. So let us get started. Make it a practice to include 5 to 7 servings of fruits and vegetables into your diet. Plant-based foods are known to be rich in fiber and hence it is good for your gut health. It improves your digestion and it has the added benefit of keeping you away from infections and diseases because of the disease-fighting chemicals present in them. Be creative and try to look for different ways in which you can include fruits and vegetables into your diet because it is very healthy and nourishing at the same time. It is important to limit the intake of processed and red meat because these are loaded with saturated fat and sodium, hence having a lot of health issues and also slowing down your digestion process. That is why you must include poultry, fish or lean meat in your diet as they are healthier and also easy to digest. Consume probiotics every day. You must have heard of this word but must be wondering why it is used so frequently. Well. Probiotics are good bacteria that are used to kill off the bad bacteria present in your gut. These produce substances that keep your gut healthy and nourished. The different examples or sources of probiotics are onion, garlic, sorkat, kefir, yogurt, etc. You must always limit the intake of foods that have a lot of sugar or have a lot of animal fat. Because over time, these will release chemicals into your GI tract and damage it. So you must always read the food labels to understand how much sugar, how much trans fat, how much saturated fat is present in it. And ingredients are not the only thing that you have to be cautious about. Your cooking method is also very important. So choose healthy cooking methods and avoid frying because that adds on to the amount of saturated fat in your diet. It adds to the calories. It is also making your metabolism slow, so your digestion will also slow down. Instead, you can go for steaming, boiling or any other healthy cooking method so that you are keeping your gut healthy and it is also light on your stomach. You must also understand that it is important to cook your meat or other food items correctly for the time it requires because if a meat is eaten undercooked or overcooked, it can lead to the growth of bacteria that are unhealthy for you. It can cause a lot of infections in your body and it can again impact your digestive health. So make sure that you're cooking your meat and other food items aptly in the correct manner. Choose whole grain products. Always read the food labels and look for the word whole grain because whole grain products have all these three layers and these are responsible for adding to the essential fiber that you need. And not just that, it also has vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, a bit of protein, and healthy unsaturated fat which is missing in case of processed and refined grains. So always look for whole grains so that it is healthy for your gut and is also providing you other additional benefits. Although spicy foods do not cause any ulcers in your stomach but it can trigger abdominal pain in some people. Spicy foods does have a lot of advantages but it also depends on how much and how frequently you are having spicy food. Especially for people who have IBS, it can be a trigger for your symptoms. It will affect your upper gastrointestinal tract and can aggravate indigestion. That is why it is better to be moderate about spicy foods and not have in excess. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. I hope you apply this into your daily routine. Try to be very wise and cautious about picking your food choices so that they are healthy for you. If it is difficult for you to identify which food is not suitable for me, what is causing a discomfort, you can make it a habit of maintaining a food diary. In this, you write down whatever you're eating every day and you also write how you felt after you ate it. Whether you had any heaviness or you felt bloated or you were feeling light or active or energized or it was not sufficient for you, you can write whatever you feel after you had that meal so that you will be able to identify which particular food item you have to exclude from your diet and which food item suits you the best. This will help you in making your bowel movement smooth and you will keep your gut also very healthy. 
that is all for today i will see you all next sunday do like share and subscribe to our channel until next time love invest find yourself and enjoy